Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Akashic Records series. Today we're going to be answering the question, how do you connect or access the Akashic Records? And the way that I've learned the way that I teach it is through an opening verse or an opening prayer. So each teacher would download or connect with a verse their own verse to connect to the Akashic Records. And that verse has a specific vibration and tension that allows you to connect to the Akashic Records. You do have to have a good intention to connect to the Akashic Records because if you don't, chances will be that you won't be able to connect to the Akashic Records. You know, there is a sense of protection and they don't really just let anybody go in and just do whatever they want in the Akashic Records. Like we said, it's in the ethereal plane. We talked about that in the last video. And the idea here is that people that have good intentions, that have practice, that have, you know, that are, are to be of service or to help themselves heal, to pass information on to others are going to be able to access that information. And through an opening verse, you really are able to gain access. So we can say that we open the, the records with an opening verse, but Maybe you'll receive some information, but the questions are a big part of that. So making sure that we have some questions on hand when we do access the records and being able to use our free will to start to receive and to gain that knowledge, the healing that we need. And especially when we use it as our own tool to open our own records, I generally feel that for most people, they can get to the bottom of a lot of things, especially when we use this tool to open our own records. It can be a super healing, super validating. It can be such an interesting tool to understand ourselves and our path. And it can help us just feel more aligned with ourselves. You know, for me, opening my records is always about feeling more connected to myself, feeling more in the moment, feeling more grounded in some way with who I am, my soul. Some people do a course. Some people read a book and get this opening verse. It depends. You know, I think all of us, don't have to follow the same path. What I would recommend for my own personal experience is to learn with somebody, somebody that resonates with your energy, somebody that you feel that would be a good teacher that has the same values and really can guide you because for for some of you it might be really easy for some others it might not and it's nice to have somebody that can explain things and that you resonate with the opening verse. Because I think that's something that I've heard time and time again teaching and people that have come to do our course said, oh, I was opening my records with this verse and it just doesn't resonate with me and I'm not sure what's happening. And it might not be that they can connect. It might just be that they're not using the verse that's kind of in tune with them and the Akashic records themselves. So... There's probably hundreds, or if not probably thousands, of opening verses to the Akashic Records. This goes to show that intention and making sure that we're grounded and making sure that we're aligned and that we're calm and that we're using it for good has a huge, like, plays a huge role in accessing them. And I do feel that we all have the right to access our Akashic Records as long as we're going to do good by them. And there's a lot of respect that we need to have when we access the Akashic Records. We need to make sure that we're using it for good. And that's, that's a huge thing for me when I teach it. And I think that most people that we attract into our courses through the Soul Tribe Academy really want to use it because it's something that they feel their soul's called to do. And I generally tend to believe and understand through opening people's Akashic Records that if you do feel called to the Akashic Records, it's probably because you're, you have a soul contract with it. Or in a past life, you were somehow involved with it. Trust whatever messages you're getting. Trust whatever path that you need to take with the Akashic Records. And know that we can all access them. I'm going to do another video about that and go a little bit deeper into who can access the Akashic Records. But for now, I'll leave it like that. If you do have any questions about opening your own records or somebody else opening your records... I just want to make sure that you guys know that I do Akashic Record readings for others. So I'll put my information below in the description bar. And I'm here if you guys have any questions. I'm always happy to chat with you guys. Comment below if there's any doubts that you have in regards to this video or any previous videos or any future videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day, guys.